Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to take the line that we just drew and add some modifiers to turn it into a spherical piece of pottery that we can 3D print. Let's get started. So make sure you have your pottery selected. Go to the modifiers tab and I'm going to introduce you a new modifier, which is the screw method or the screw modifier. So go ahead and click on screw and voila, we've already got an instant piece of pottery. So by default, it's going to come in at 360, which is what we want. And we've got our steps at 16. Um, and you want to uncheck, make sure you do this. You uncheck smooth shading there. It's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom. Yeah. So make sure smooth shading is not checked because this is actually what it will look like when we go to slice and 3D print. It will look very, you know, lots of polygons. If you had this on, it's kind of misleading, you know, so make sure you have that off. That way you can really see what you're working with. And, you know, if you want it to be a little bit more smooth, you could crank up the, uh, the steps there, but I'm going to leave it at 16 and we're going to use another modifier and that is the subdivision surface. I love this one. So we got subdivision surface. You can already see it's looking a lot more smooth, but let's crank it up even more. Let's go to like two, maybe even three. Yeah. So say if you, you know, that would still have some little squares on it when you 3d print it. So if your computer can handle it, you know, you could go all the way up to four and get a really nice smooth uh, piece of pottery, but it will be a little heavier on your computer. So I'm just going to leave mine at three. And again, we're not applying any of these modifiers. We're going to keep it super flexible. That way we can always come back in and change things if we need. And so this is looking already pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hide my reference image. We can even rename that We we'll call it uh, reference image and just hide it or hit H to hide it. Go ahead and save. And now we've got a pretty cool looking piece of pottery. It uh, looks very, very similar to what we, you know, created, but uh, you know, maybe we want to modify it a little bit. Um, so actually let's bring our reference image back. So I'm just do Alt H, sorry about that. And let's click on our pottery and go into tab mode or edit mode and go to the front view. So just numpad one and notice it's a little skinnier. It's kind of smaller than our, um, than our reference image here. So we're just going to select, you know, make sure we're in point mode and maybe just grab a box around these. I'm in, uh, I'm in, you know, select the box here and we're just going to hit G and just kind of grab that, you know, just kind of make any final, adjustments we want. So go ahead and kind of just play around and make any tweaks that you want. So I'm pretty happy with that. That looks good. The only thing that I'm really not enjoying is the bottom here. It's a little, it's kind of breaking our 45 degree rule and there's not much of a bottom here to work with. So I'm going to show you a little trick to kind of sharpen that edge and it's called the loop cut. And um, essentially it will just add another point in between these two points. So to do that, you could click that uh, button here, this loop cut button. But what I like to do is just use the shortcut, which is uh, control R. And you could also find that with F3, you know, just type in loop, loop cut and slide, control R. So control R. And then now look, when I kind of hover over this line here, these little dots, this little dot appears, and that's where it's going to, uh, you know, place that dot. So I'm just going to hit click there. And that looks pretty good, but it's still not as sharp uh, of an edge that I want. So we could hit G and kind of slide it down, but, you know, it kind of goes all over the place. So let's just hit escape. And what I like to do is slide it. So to do a slide, you just hit G twice. So G, G, and then just push it all the way to the bottom one like that. And then we'll do another loop cut right here at the bottom and then hit G, G and slide that to the edge. And what that's going to do is make our bottom really flat. And that's going to help when we go to 3D print. It's going to give it a nice solid uh, bottom base there. And just looking at this, the the bottom of this is really small. So uh, I'm going to go into uh, kind of like see-through mode, x-ray vision, 
and grab all three of those little points that we had and then hit G and X. And just kind of, you know, make the, the bottom a little wider. Just something so that uh, this thing won't topple over. You know, you can go as wide as you want, but maybe do something like that. That looks pretty cool. So now we've got a nice uh, Voss shape or pottery shape. So now let's go back into object mode. Let's add some color, uh, you know, just for fun. So let's go to material preview or Eevee. And I've already got a shader on mine because of my uh, preset. But if you want to add some color to your vase or your pottery, just click on it and go to the material options. I'm just going to delete this so you can kind of see. Yours probably looks like this. And you just want to click new because we want to add a new material. And you can name this, you know, pottery color. And then make it the base color, any color you want. So I'm going to do red. And you have to be in Material Preview or Eevee to see this. So if you're not seeing it, make sure you're in one of these views here. And there we go. So now we've already got this really cool uh, colored uh, vase. It's not going to matter when we go to 3D print it, but just so, you know, if you want some color in your life, there you go. So let's go ahead and save. And one more thing I want to do is maybe I want to use this as like a planter. So I want the water to be able to get out. Uh, we can go back into edit mode and I'm going to grab this little, this centermost point here and just hit G and X and just open up, you know, just a little bit of a bottom there. Yeah, that looks nice. And that's completely optional. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to probably use this as a planter. So, you know, that will help. And now it's looking pretty good. Let's go back to object mode. We can go ahead and hide our reference or just click on it and hit H. And now we've got a really cool piece of pottery, but it's not able to be 3D printed. So if you look closely, it's really just like a thin piece of paper that we've kind of curved out. Uh, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to thicken it up and, you know, add some cool, uh, you know, effects to this to make it 3D printable. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video.